Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Starfield video. And this one I'm going to be showing y'all another broken infinite credits glitch. Not only are you going to be able to get infinite credits from this, you're also going to be able to get infinite ammo, resources, med packs, and plenty of other goodies too. This is a really fast one as well to do. You don't have to like get outside the map or anything. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this one to also surpass a thousand likes. That'd be awesome to see. The support here lately over my Starfield content has been absolutely insane. Seriously, can't thank you guys enough. Also, I just want to mention, I am not the founder of this glitch. Um, I'll have a link down below in the description to the founder. Props to that guy. It's really impressive how he finds this kind of stuff. This is the same guy who found the new Atlantis vendor chest. But yeah, all you gotta do for this glitch is head over to Aquila City. In case you don't know where that is, it's located at the Cheyenne system. So from Alpha Centauri here, just head over to the Cheyenne system here. And then once you're here, you can find Aquila City right here. Just fast travel to Aquila City. And then once you're here, just head to this area. You can find one of the secret chests if you go up to this and then back up a little and crouch. Check this out. Right at this puddle, look at this. You can find one of the vendor chests. It has 5,000 credits in it. Has all kinds of different ammo. So you don't even have to waste credits now purchasing ammo. I gotta admit, that's one thing that I use my credits on a lot is purchasing ammo. Yeah, you can find all kinds of different ammo. You can also find ship parts from here, digi picks, med packs and all kinds of different resources as well. If you scroll down, as you can see, check out all this. Oh my gosh, Sarah, really? <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> let me go back to where I was. But yeah, check out all this. So much stuff. Look at all this clothing that you can get. Look at all these outfits that you can get. Weapons even you can get from this. And yeah, here's the uh, resources. You can find plenty of them, you know, all kinds of stuff. If I go to transfer, here's all the resources you can find. You can get all of this from looting the chest. You can get all these weapons from looting the chest. All these aid items from looting the chest. I mean, you get it. So this is an infinite amount of all of this. Freaking amazing. And check this out. Once you loot it, and get the 5,000 credits as well from it. There's another chest that you can find too. I'm gonna go ahead and just loot everything real quick. So much stuff. Easy way to get free resources. As some of you know, resources are very valuable for outpost building and stuff. So this is a way you can just come here and get free resources or free ammunition. Like I mentioned before, I waste a lot of my credits on ammunition. Also, I waste a lot of my credits on resources and heck, even med packs. This is a way to save credits on that part too. You can also find another chest over here. Crouch down around this like banner. And yeah, 1200 credits are right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Also some drinks too. Yeah, drinking these drinks give you specific kind of buffs. But yeah, now once you've gotten these chests to reset it, just find a chair that you can sit in or something like over here you can find a chair and all you got to do is wait 48 hours and also make sure most importantly you talk to the vendors before you go and loot their chest again for some reason that helps reset their chest too so that's a way you can just continue farming these chests over and over for their loot this is an easy way to max out your resources your med packs your ammunition and even your credits you're going to be getting 6200 credits so, all right so once you have waited 48 hours if you go over to the chest you will notice that they aren't reset quite yet they don't have their loot in them yet I'm currently over encumbered so my screen's kind of getting weird when I run in order to get loot in them you got to once again go and talk to the vendors this is very important ask what you have for sale now they should be reset well, this one should be, because I talked to that vendor. It's over here around this puddle. Yep, see? Go ahead and pick up your 5,000 credits once again, and stock up on whatever else you're needing. 
freaking amazing. And uh, to reset this vendor chest, once again, you gotta talk to the actual vendor. You can easily do that. It's a quick way to stock up on everything. Welcome to the Aha, uh -huh, there you are. You're welcome to just hang out. Show the menu. Okay. Now this one should be reset. Let's go back over. Excuse me. Bada bing, bada boom. But yeah, in case you're wondering, some of these do give good buffs. Like this one, plus 8 carry capacity. Or this one, plus 100 damage resistance for 3 minutes. Or this one, plus 50 damage resistance for 3 minutes. And you get it. There's plenty of nice buffs you can get from these kind of drinks. Yeah, they do have their negatives, but they also have their positives from drinking them. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you um, doing this as fast as possible. Let's see how much I can get. So first off, I'm going to drop off these resources in my ship so I can have them for later. So I want to save these. I'm going to take the resources. I'm going to take the rest of these resources too. So I want to stock up on resources. Can't go wrong with having more resources available. For outpost building especially. I'm going to take all these. Well, I can just press X to take all. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Sitting there taking them one by one. Sheesh. You know what? I'm just going to keep that in. I'm not going to edit it out like I know everything. Drop these resources. I am so much over encumbered. Bam. <laughs> So much random resources right there. Come on. Okay. This time, let's check how fast we can do this. I'm not going to be cutting it at all. I'm just going to be checking how many credits we can get per minute. So here we are in Aquila City. And the timer starts now. Let's do this. Crouch. Wait, what? What's that? It's... Oh, I'm, it's like I'm falling. Okay, that was weird. Uh, never mind. Okay, now the timer starts. Let's do this. Okay, there it is. Oh, wrong thing. All right, grab the 5,000 credits there. Go over here. Grab the 1,200 credits. Okay. Now I'm just going to be running to this chair. And I'm going to wait. 48 hours. Go, go, go. Take a look around. I get all kinds of. Take a gander. Okay. 
Okay, so counting the wait time and talking to the vendor and whatnot, it seemed like it took about three minutes for the 6,200 credits. So we can do this 20 times about every hour. So you can make 124,000 every hour here, but you also get unlimited ammo, resources, and everything else too, so yeah. Personally, this isn't really the greatest for credits. I mean, you do get some fast credits, but mainly this is for the ship parts, ammunition, resources, and med packs, and whatnot. You got easy access to all of that quickly. Honestly, the new Atlantis credits glitch is better than this one, but still, nonetheless, this is another glitch you could take advantage of in the game to benefit you. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone, as always. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Hope you all found this enjoyable. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.